everyone, I'm Holly from One Way Ticket, and in today's vlog we're going to show you how we traveled with our dog Chloe from the UK to France using the Eurotunnel. So what exactly is the Eurotunnel? The Eurotunnel is basically a railway system that connects Folkestone to Calais underneath the English Channel. You just drive your car onto one of the train carriages, remain in your car with your dog throughout the 35 minute journey, and before you know it, you're in France. Okay, so now that you know what the Eurotunnel is, now we're gonna get into the procedures for taking a ride on the Eurotunnel. The first thing that you have to do is book your ticket online. So this is the website that you'll use. You'll book your ticket and then you will add your pet's ticket onto your ticket. The pet ticket costs 22 pounds. When you arrive at the Eurotunnel, the first thing you'll wanna do is get your pet checked in. We're at the pet reception area, so we're gonna go check Chloe in right now. We recommend getting there about an hour before your book departure time, but no more than two hours. Make sure to bring your dog inside of the pet check-in area because you'll have to first scan their microchip and then you'll hand over the pet paperwork for all of it to be checked. Now for the pet paperwork, if you're leaving from Folkestone to Calais, there are three requirements. The first one is your dog has to have a microchip. The second one is you have to have either a pet passport or an animal health certificate. And the third one is your pet has to have an up-to-date rabies vaccination. And then if you're going in the reverse direction from Calais to Folkestone, the only additional requirement you will need is a tapeworm treatment at least one to five days before you travel. After the microchip is scanned and the paperwork is checked, that's it, you're all set, you're ready to take the Eurotunnel. While you wait for your boarding time, there are several things that you can do. One of them is they have plenty of restaurants available for you to eat before your journey. They also have some duty-free shopping areas, and our favorite part is the pet exercise area. The pet exercise area is right across from the pet check-in area, so it's not too far of a walk. It's great because Chloe got some exercise in, she got a bathroom break, and she met some new friends. Before boarding the shuttle, you will have to go through customs. All right, we've just made it through British customs and then now French customs, and we are about to get onto the tunnel. Once we were in our train carriage, we listened to the safety briefing, and then honestly, the 35 minutes flew by. We stayed in the car the whole time, and before we knew it, we had arrived in France. The biggest advantage of taking the Euro Tunnel is that it's a stress-free way to travel with your pet. We've traveled with Chloe from the Netherlands to the UK via the Stena Ferry, and while it was a nice experience, we did have to leave her in the kennels, so, it wasn't as stress-free uh, as having her in the car with us throughout the journey. So we really liked the fact that she could stay with us and it was super quick. It was only 35 minutes. Please let us know if you have any questions. We'd be happy to help you out. I know firsthand how stressful it can be traveling with your pet, especially if you're unaware of what to expect. So if we can help you in any way, we would be glad to. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our Paris travel series.